Hello, this is DP Roberts here with the unboxing and inspection of my order I just received from Indo-Pacific Sea Farms of their 9 for 99 special with a couple extra items. Uh, first of all, you'll note that uh, the box is well packed with a double layer of trash bags and underneath that a full inch thick uh, styrofoam lining. So uh, everything's well packed in there and then from what I can tell all of the bags are also double packed so there's multiple layers of plastic and insulation for everything. <clears throat> to start with, I um, did receive the two bags of Coral Heaven food, uh, one for part of my special, one as a secondary purchase just to try to feed my corals for the next couple of months. Uh, I've heard good things about that coral food so we'll try it out. Uh, second note here, I'm going to try to hold up the bags to show you what came in the bag, uh, but it can be very hard to see these little tiny critters, so uh, per their instructions, I'll also be uh, showing videos of them outside of the bags, um, if I can get that working later after we show you what we got in the box. Uh, to start with, um, the mini stars, uh, which are going to be nearly impossible to see in here. Uh, they're little tiny guys at the very bottom of the package. The only thing really visible in the video here is going to be a couple bristle worms. Uh, that's the mini stars. With free bonus bris bristle worms. Uh, let's see what this one is. This is labeled bee worms, bristle worms. Okay, there is, it says six, but um, I can see way more than six in the, in the package there. Um, looks like there's some algae, yellow algae in with them. There's a whole thing of bristle worms there at the bottom. Let's see what's next. Uh, this is labeled, sorry, excuse me for a minute, I have to move this. Uh, pods, this is the pods. Right, probably, probably the pod mat, I can't quite read it, it says pod mat, but that is a large bag of green and red algae. What we got next? Make sure this stuff doesn't fall off the table. Uh, this bag is the Mama Mia worms. These are not available as part of the 9 for 99 special. I had to add these in. Um, may, not, may or not be able to see those. The Mama Mia worms at the bottom of the bag, mostly all together there. Uh, let's see what's next in here. This looks like, oh yeah, the LSA the Life Sand Activator. Um, kind of their thicker gravelly sand um, with allegedly all kinds of critters and stuff in it. Um, I could definitely see some worms and things floating around in there right now, uh, but we will take a closer look at that one later. Uh, these got to be the Nerite snails. They're crawling all over the bag. Yeah, they're there. Oh, Nerite 6 and the Strombus snails are in there as well. Uh, we can definitely see the black Nerite snails. Um, Strombus snails are there at the bottom, I think. Yeah, there's still a whole bunch of snails in there. We'll take a closer look at them later. GCL says this bag. I don't even remember what GCL is. Oh, yeah, green leather coral. That would be the green coral leather. Um, it's a decent, even, even unhappy in the bag. It looks like it's close to an inch across, so hopefully that inflates and is doing okay. That's a fairly large coral for a, a small frag. Again, that was part of the extra special. You had the 9 for 9. 9 for 99 special, and then I added on two corals and those um, hair worms or spaghetti worms, as they call them, um, that uh, were extra just to try to get a little more diversity in the aquarium here. Uh, pods, these are the actual pods, um, which again are going to be in some, some algae there, some red and green algae. Uh, hard to see up close, especially with trying to get the camera to focus in close, but um, I can see that there are some things going around in there. Definitely moving around, so we will look at those closer as well. And see what we got left. Okay, this bag says 
LGL. This must be the other, the green leather. Oh, wow, that's a fairly large size leather too. It's in a big giant shell. Um, as it's, as it's mounting instead of a rock or a, a coral plug, it's mounted to a giant shell, which is interesting. And again, a rather large, you can see the coral's gotta be two inches tall and an inch across in its unhappy ship state. So if that opens up, we will hopefully get some good growth out of that coral with their food that they recommend and provide. Um, Wonder Mud, this is the Wonder Mud. Uh, I was looking forward to this one, getting all kinds of diversity and stuff in their Wonder Mud. Um, aside from the, there being mud at the bottom, you can clearly see that there's several more snails uh, growing around the top of the tank and uh, some bristle worms and all kinds of other stuff. So that looks like that's gonna be a good one. Looking forward to that mud, Wonder Mud. And see if anything else, one last bag maybe, one last bag. Uh, the clams, the sand bed clams. Um, look at oh, that was, those are big. I have ordered once before, several years ago, from IPSF and had the sand bed clams. Um, first of all, several of them did not survive the shipping, which, you know, was okay because I had kind of heard that happens. Um, but these appear to be a totally different type of clam or at least a way different part of their life cycle. The ones I got several years ago were maybe half an inch across. These are clearly an inch or more. Uh, so maybe if these are a different type of clam or you know older clams that it can ship better, we will check those out and see how they do. So again, I uh, will pause the video here and uh, I will acclimate them according to their instructions and then maybe we'll take a, bit, a little bit closer look with them.